This painting is called Hunting Party. Now there is a lot going on with this particular painting that I'd like to share with you. Uh, first of all, this is a image from a book that a gentleman by the name of Edward Curtis actually published. Uh, Edward Curtis actually was sponsored or backed by J.P. Morgan to go out west in the early 1900s and seek out all these tribes, Indian tribes, and document them, take photos of them. And that's exactly what it is. And there's a big book, it's like a coffee table book that you can purchase with all of Edward Curtis's uh, photography of the Wild West and even went up into Alaska and took pictures of the Eskimos. So that's what this is. I took some of those pictures which I don't normally do, and uh, kind of put them together and made this particular painting. Now, I would never sell this painting as my own, obviously, because the images were, were um, from the book. But uh, I just loved the images that they had, and of course they were black and white, uh, washed out. The, the f f photos aren't all that great, but the fact that the uh, he was able to get these pictures are pretty amazing. Now this one, I put these this hunting party together, and uh, like I said, there's some serious stuff going on here. You notice the clouds in the background that I put in there. Uh, that represents the end of an era for the Indians in the Midwest, as we all know. And you know, the um, one of the big staples for a lot of those Indians were buffalo and there's a buffalo skull there with a lance stuck in it with a, f a feather and a red ribbon and that would indicate that um, this is their hunting ground and any of the buffalo hunters back in the day that was decimating the population of the buffalo were to stay away now if you look at the right I'm sorry the left side of the the painting you'll see some vultures flying around in the background which would indicate more dead buffalo uh, because of the buffalo hunters so this is uh, this could be a very moving painting if you if you know the the background of the images and so this is this is what I've done the next uh, three paintings this one and two more are actually photos or paintings of photos that came out of the Edward Curtis book and like I said I don't claim these to be mine because the images aren't mine uh, I normally take my own images but I couldn't resist I had to I had to take these and paint them and and they were fun this painting uh, that we're looking at is 24 by 48 so it's a rather large painting Took me quite a while to, to do each one of the Indians. And again, called Hunting Party. This is another painting that I did from the book Edward Curtis uh, did of photographs. And again, this was a black and white photograph. And this is a 11 by 14 on canvas. And it's depicting a mother and father maybe and a child at some sort of event uh, there at the, the tribe or whatever. Or maybe she's in waiting. 
Uh, I'm not sure, but uh, I, this caught my eye. I thought it was very good. And it was too bad it wasn't in color in the book because I'm sure these outfits were pretty spectacular. And you could tell that from the black and white photo. So I did the best I could with that to kind of make them stand out. And they were in a field full of flowers. Okay, this is the third and last painting I did that was derived from the Edward Curtis book. And I simply call it Firewood. And I just, I love this picture. Uh, it's a nine by 12, it's a really small one. And here it is in a snowstorm, the teepee's got smoke coming out, so it's warm inside. Um, the lady's bringing back firewood and there's the, the Indian coming out of the, the teepee. So this was, this was a fun one to do. And like I said, this is the last one of these in this series that I did. This is a 15 by 32. Uh, I stretched this one uh, on linen. This is all on linen. And it's of a photograph I took while out in Tahos, New Mexico, of a Pueblo there. And I got back and I wanted to challenge myself. I wanted to see just how fast I could paint a painting. And I actually painted this with brush and palette knife. And I did this painting in one hour, which was amazing to me. But uh, this was the Pueblo. The only thing different about the photograph and the actual Pueblo is I did put another floor on it. I think it was only two and a half floors high. But, I, and I'm not sure why I did that. Could be because I was in such a big hurry. But this was fun. So, again, 15 by 32. This one is 16 by 20 oil on linen. And uh, this came after a trip to Colorado and we were out there when the aspens were turning and I was just blown away with the beauty of the trees. So I call this Catch Me If You Can. And this little calf is hauling it and this guy's trying to catch it. So crossing the creek. 
a little bit of detail in this one, the rocks under the water, splashing the water around the horse's feet. And even as the cow, the calf comes out of the water, uh, he's splattering. So again, this was a fun painting. And again, 16 by 20.